Hi, and welcome to my video on main stage tempo. So I'm going to cover various aspects of tempo, and um, just as a start, I've created a uh, a fairly basic main stage file open here with um, just one set and a couple of patches. And I'm going to use this as a bit of a working example as I talk about the various uh, areas of tempo within main stage. Now, what I also did in order for you to hear the changes just as we go through. I've created uh, a channel strip here that contains ultra beat and I've got a kick drum uh, programmed. Now the channel is muted right now and I will just unmute this just so you can hear it. So that'll be the kick and what I'll do is I'll turn that on as I change the tempo in various locations so you can actually hear uh, the effect of the changes that we actually make. Okay so let's start just by giving you a bit of an overview as to um, the different areas that you can control tempo within main stage and you might as well already imagine if you've used main stage uh, it's very similar to other controls that you have you can control the tempo either at the concert level right here or you can also change tempo at the set level or the patch level so I just have a very basic concert set up here just uh, with one set and two patches and if I click on the concert here you can see down in this area of the screen that the tempo uh, for this concert is set or defaulted to 120. So if you set the tempo uh, at the concert level and you just leave it there then that's the tempo that, that will remain for the, for the entire concert. However you can also set the tempo uh, or change the tempo at the set level and I'm just clicking on set and you can see right here if I click on change tempo to, if I put a value in there, that will change the uh, preset concert level tempo to whatever tempo I want for this particular set. Now, exactly the same goes for different patches. I'll just click on patch one here. And again, if you just look down at the uh, patch inspector, you can see um, change tempo to, and again, I can override the, uh, the tempo at the set level. So there are various ways and areas that you can actually change the uh, tempo. So why don't I step through um, exactly um, some examples of doing that. So I'm going to unmute my uh, channel strip here just so you can hear the kick and then I'm going to go through and vary those different tempos. So we have it set right at uh, 120. There's a number of different ways of doing this. Either I can just set this slider up and you can hear the tempo changing. And by the way, this other area of the screen here, you can see tap tempo. There's a key that has been programmed for tap there, and uh, that is set, uh, or that key uh, and controller will display the value of whatever the tempo is for that, uh, for that given, given time. So in other words, if you've changed the tempo, that's what it's gonna stay to until you change it again, and it will display that value right here. Okay, so let's do that. So Right now I changed the concert level tempo to 160. If I go into the set and I'm going to say change tempo to and I can, you can already hear that's brought it down to 120. Okay, so I can change that to whatever I want. And the same thing goes at the patch level. Let's do change tempo and why don't we boost that, I'll tell you what, let's just lower it down to something even. Let's lower that 85, 86. And the same thing will go for patch 2. I can say change tempo 2. And let's put this back up there. Okay, let's go to 180 or so. Okay, so now as I click through here, uh, you can see it's 183 right now. If I click on patch 1, it has now been set to 86 because again, that's what I changed the tempo to for this patch. If I click patch 2 again, it'll change the tempo to 183. So if you're using your um, if you're using your external controller here to change patches, anytime you call up a patch, if it has a tempo setting associated with that, then the tempo will change to whatever you've, you've set it at, which is very very handy, and I, I certainly use it at uh, the patch level. Um, so if we go back up to set level here, and again we'll just unmute this track. Okay, so once again, if I change the set level, change it to 160, 
it'll retain that that 160 until I go into another patch. Okay, so that is uh, that's pretty much the the main areas of um, of tempo. Now you can then adjust the tempo using the tap tempo features and if you look at the top of the screen here this tap tempo box and you can simply change tempo by clicking on that in time with whatever tempo you want so I'm going to unmute my kick track again and let me just go up here to the tap tempo box and as you can see right now it's 86 and I'm just going to click on this tap tempo a little faster okay and you can already see that the tap tempo number down here has already changed so you can just click 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 in time and it will simply take on that new tempo now the other way that you can do this is if you use the control T key so I'm just gonna do that right now and again that'll alter the tempo as well so you can't see me keying here but that's exactly what's going on now what I also did, and let me just mute my kick here, is uh, this control button or this radio button right here uh, has already been mapped up at the concert level. If we go to concert, click layout, uh, and I'm going to click on this guy. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to program that key so that I can use the or one of the foot switches on my FCB 1010 to set the tempo okay so the way that I would do that is I would go up to layout click on that key now I'm just gonna bring up my FCB 1010 editor right here and I had uh, oh yeah I think it's in foot switch number one so foot switch one if you take a look here has CC 21 program so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assign uh, bank one foot switch one to that tap tempo controller within main stage okay so let's go ahead and do that so first I'm gonna go into as I mentioned before layout mode I click that that controller I'm gonna click learn and then I'm going to press off camera uh, my FCB 1010 switch one bank one okay and as you can see it has uh, recognized my FCB 1010 on channel one and it has assigned uh, CC21 which is exactly what I want to do so if I go back into edit mode here um, I will be able to change the tempo just by doing tap on my FCB 1010 so again let me unmute my kick and off camera here I'm just gonna step on my uh, FCB 1010 switch and just watch the tap tempo value right here Okay, so I'm just pressing my FCB 1010 foot switch right now. Change the tempo again a little slower. And I'll go fast, I'll do a bunch of fast taps. And it changes. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward. Let me just mute this. It's fairly straightforward as to how to change tempo. Again, just in summary, uh, Remember that you can have the tempo set at the concert level. And oh, by the way, one important point too is that um, if you have a, a tempo set at the concert level um, and then you change that at either the set or the patch level, it, it, it won't go back to whatever that concert level or that original concert level tempo was. Essentially, the set or the patch tempos will override whatever was set originally at uh, the concert level. And that, that, that makes sense because it's um, you're, you're really drilling down and saying, look, I'm going to override whatever you had through either my set or my patch. Okay. Oh, by the way, I think the other important point here is to look at exactly what that was, um, that was mapped at. And that, that's the part I missed. So if I click on that within edit mode, you can see that that button was mapped to actions tap tempo. Okay, so that's that. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you get any questions or comments, kindly comment me. Uh, all questions are welcome. Thanks much.